I'm going to be doing um, a live video. Uh, I am streaming on Twitch, but I'm also going to be uh, streaming to my Facebook channel. Um, that's the, this is the first time I'm attempting that. So um, this should be fun. And there we go. Okay, so let me, hi Sarah. Okay, so I'm just going to switch this around really quick. And I just wanted to do like a quick kind of video just to play around with um, a new palette that I got from Urban Decay. I know it's been out for a little bit, but it's at least new to me, so I wanted to enjoy it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So the new palette that I got is the Naked Cherry Urban Decay palette, and I just have to say that I'm absolutely in love with this packaging. It's gorgeous. <laughs> um, it is like an outer lay, like overlay plastic that the other ones don't have. I have naked palettes one through uh, three. And then also, here's a nice inside. And I apologize. Like I said, I'm streaming on both Twitch and on Facebook. So I have my two cameras going. <laughs> Anyways, um, I do wanna uh, actually try doing the application mainly with the brush that it provides, but I'll probably still use a couple of my brushes just to make it a little bit easier for um, for what I'm used to doing with the makeup. Oh my gosh, this brush is just too cute. It's like has this like see-through, hollow -y kind of, oh, it's just adorable. And it's actually a little bit different than than the other ones that I've had. Um, it's different ends on the brushes. Down. I'm just going to prep my face really quick because I haven't done that yet. Um, so I'm using um, a little bit of the Fourth Ray um, Papaya Face Milk. And thank you so much for the new follow. So this is the Papaya uh, Face Milk by Fourth Ray. And I do have, com um, not combination, I have oily skin, so I don't use a lot of this. And what I do use, I just use on the bottom portion of my face because I tend to have more of like a oily T-zone, if anything. Okay, and then I'm mainly playing with eyes today, but I do wanna, um, like do just a couple of other little fun things. Okay. And as always, for starters, with my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my uh, Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. And again, I just wanted to reiterate that this is not um, for me to be doing like a full face of makeup. I'm just playing around with some of the, the new makeup that I got today. That's all. Okay. And then here, let me grab some of my clean thingies.
<laughs> Bob's not playing today. Well, I mean, he's playing um, other games, but he's not playing with makeup today. I miss you too. How is uh, quarantine life going for everybody? And then now that the um, face milk has like dried a little bit, um, I just go in with the rest of my face with my Purity Moisturizer. Um, I like this because it actually goes really well. It's lightweight and it um, doesn't make my face feel overwhelmed. I know I've had some moisturizers in the past that are just like way too much and um, can overwhelm my skin. Um, they either make it feel just like... <sighs> You know, like cheap sunscreen that <laughs> makes your face feel just completely overwhelmed and drowning and it can't breathe. I've had some moisturizers that do that and thankfully this one doesn't and it goes on really nicely and I just love it so much. Now, my poor eyebrows are pretty much back to their natural state um, from before quarantine appointments got canceled so okay so um to start out with this palette um I want to play with some of the brighter colors um so I think what I would like to go in with first is um let's do hmm What do you think? Should I start with bling or this devilish one? Anybody? The uh, bling or devilish? <laughs> um you're right I want to start out with devilish I'm going to put that in there I'm just going to stamp it on and then start blowing it out so I'm going to be stamping this into my crease and then um kind of just blending it out And then kind of to help with those rough edges, I'm going to go in with this one called Feels. And I'm going to just blend those two out. Sorry, you guys. I'm going so far away you can't see. I'm 
Love you too. It's so odd. This is almost giving me like Sherbert feels. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in with the feels and start blending it out. I do tend to take my colors a little bit higher just because um, I have a little bit of like a hooded lid. And so it's a little bit difficult for me to have much to work with on my actual lid. I feel like anything that I put on my lid, once I'm done, it doesn't show up anyways. So I'll put a lot of color up higher and as close to my brows as possible. And this is where... I would like to use one of my brushes. I'm actually going to use this Morphe brush that um, I have kind of to just start diffusing it a little bit. And a lot of it is um, going with darker colors that highlight your skin's undertone. And me being the wonderful ginger that I am, I tend to have a pink undertone for my skin. Or it could just be all of like the indoor sunburns I get, you know. And 
And this isn't going to be a super long stream because I do have a game to get to at 8.30. Um, a bunch of friends were getting together and doing a, uh, a Zoom party for um, like a Cards Against Humanities kind of uh, Zoom party. We've been doing like every Friday, I think. It's been two weeks in a row that I've done something with this, uh, this group. And it's actually been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed myself. I wish, let me see, does this have, oh, that helps. I don't know if that changed anything on your guys' side, but my screen got brighter for me to see over here a little bit too. So that's nice. I am really liking this combo. This is turning out like really cute. Okay, so next I would like to go in with um, something for the corners over here. And I think I want to bring in some brown. And so there's this one called Drunk Dial <laughs> that I feel would be completely appropriate. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and do Drunk Dial. And I'm going to try to go light with this because it is pretty dark. I mean, look at that. He dark. Thankfully, a little bit is actually going a long way for what I wanted to accomplish, which was kind of just to smoke out the corner, and then I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. But I'm going to bring some brightness in on the lid. So I feel like this, um, that it, it's doing what I want it to do so far. I'm going to go just a hair darker. You have fun. Thank you for watching. I love you. Okay. Let's grab this over here.
pain. Oh, thank you. I know I told you um, I would probably be streaming uh, to play with this new palette. Okay, so now I wanted to take um, something like like a nice shimmer uh, for the lid, and I think what I want to go in with is this one called Young Love. It's just too pretty. Ooh. That goes on like a dream, you guys. like this freaking cherry blossom of a dream over here. <laughs> Thank you. I do have um, a pretty limited style of how I like to put my makeup on and it's pretty much crease, buff it out with a lighter shade, do a dark corner and blend it in and then put something pretty on the lid. I have not branched out that much yet. <laughs> super cute so cute so it is more of a um like a rose and let me show you it is this one right here called young love and it's got like a nice metallic shimmer to it oops this one right here And I think it brought a really nice uh, pop of color to the front. So what I'm going to do for the bottom is I'm going to get one of my um, thinner brushes because this one is actually pretty thick for me to try to do my very small um, lower lash line. So I'm going to put that brush away. I really like the brush that came in the packaging. It's nice. Sorry guys, I have this monster of a thing of brushes to always try to dig through to find where my stuff is. I do want to eventually get a better organizer. That's right, I'm missing a couple brushes because I used them for one of my last videos and made a complete mess of them with the color green. So don't do that unless you're prepared to clean all of your brushes right afterwards. <laughs> Um, let me see what I have for this guy. You know what? This will this will do. This one will do. I'll just do a close lash line and then um, buff it out. Okay, so um, I was gonna go in with that drunk dial, um, really close to the lash line to kind of make it just look a little bit darker, and then I'm going to buff it out with a different color I haven't used on here yet, and that one's called Bling. It was the other, sorry, Bing. I, it was right next to Devilish, so it was the other one that I was um, looking to play around with, but we're gonna play around with this one first. There we 
we go. And just to darken up that lower lash line just a little bit. We're going in with drunk dial first. Let's go ahead and grab that Bing color. This is a bit brighter, so I want it to kind of just open up the bottom lash line a little bit and not make it so dark. bright as I was expecting it to be. You know what it goes it blends in nicely and that's the nice thing about these palettes is that when people when when these teams of people sit there and they put these together they know what they're doing <laughs> they know that all of these colors in one way or another are going to blend together and look beautiful so um i do want to dip into one of my highlighters um before i finish this up with um some mascara and uh liner so let me find a good highlighter for this. I'm gonna go with one of my defaults. Um, so this is a Tarte highlighting palette. You guys will probably see me use this one a lot on my stream and it's the Skin Twinkle one. So um, it's like a three combo. Um, And I want to go in, because of these colors, I want to try going in with the peach one and see how it looks. blending really nicely up top on the brow bone because of the the feels color that I used it had that like peachy sherberty color with it so this this highlighter actually goes really well along the brown brow bone with it And then I'm just going to use this on the inner corners as well. Yeah, these unfortunately are my natural brows. I um, I usually get them done. <laughs> my natural brows are so very fair. 
and so very thin. And these are like, haven't been waxed since we went into quarantine back at the beginning of March. Actually, I think my last brow appointment was in February. So it's been a while, you guys. And these are my natural ones. So it's, they're, they're sad. Okay, um, liner. Oh, and um, I picked up um, a new bottle of uh, Perversion from Urban Decay, and I have used this one before, and I love it. But um, I made the mistake last time when I bought a brand new bottle that I had left it in my car in the heat in the summer, and it actually melted the whole thing. Like, the bristles on the plastic brush fell off, too. So I'm not going to do that again. It's staying in the house this time. And then for liner... For the liner, I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop one. Um, this thing is almost like tattoo ink. Like, I I put it on my hand one time, didn't come off for like two days. Not included showers. Promised I showered. Just didn't wanna come off. Um, yeah. And I'm just curling my eyelashes because they love to stick straight off of my face and it is rather obnoxious. Okay, so let's go in with this liner, ColourPop liner. This thing is like pointy. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck, you guys. I'm not too good at this part. I got it on the first eye, exactly how I want it. Now watch me mess this up on the next one because I can never put it on just as thin on the other one. This is how I want it. I will mess up the other eye. It's just inevitable. thicker. <sighs> Don't blink while you're doing that. Oof. Does it look horrible, you guys? I think, I think I'll live with it. I think if I continue to mess with it, I will regret all of my life's decisions. Okay, so um, I'm gonna move on to my Perversion uh, mascara, and I'm gonna do top and bottom. I do not want to get my bangs, so. I 
I'm not somebody that likes to wear false lashes. I'm just not good at applying them and my face is not good at handling wearing it. So um, I just go ahead and do mascara as much as I can. And of course, my bangs want to mess everything up right now. There we go. Okay, so I got my first coat on, one eye. Don't know why I'm narrating that to you guys. Okay. And then I'm going to switch back over to the other eye uh, just to kind of double it up because I've got pretty thin blonde lashes. They need a little pick me up. And then just a little bit on the bottoms because I do not like having massive bottom lashes with how dainty my features are on my face. I will blame the fan. That sounds like a good idea. Something that I'm noticing that I'm not a huge fan of with this mascara wand is that my eyelashes are like clumping together and I like to have them fanned out a bit more. Okay. So far, this is looking mighty fine. Um, I do want to do a lip, and then I will probably be off as far as like makeup goes, but I really like this look. Um, I love the colors. Everything blended really well, and it came out super easy. This is my first time dipping into the palette. I hadn't, um, I, I had opened it before. Um, I hadn't really looked at the colors as far as like what I wanted to put on my face, but everything came out really nicely. So I'm, I'm super happy with that palette. Um, and it goes with my, my skin tone so nicely. I don't feel like this is so overdone that I wouldn't wear this to work. I've worn far brighter stuff to work <laughs> before and then felt like I really regretted it. Okay. So Okay, so for lips, um, I feel like this is too, well, and that's the thing is this Kylie one, what is this, birthday suit, it actually comes out like kind of orangey, um, so it might blend nicely with some of the colors in there because I said that it kind of had that sherbet feel, so I swear this is actually like a different color than it actually looks like in the bottle. Um, I have this ColourPop just a tint and because it is like a cherry, this one, actually this one is a go-go, but it's like a cherry tinted kind of, so I feel like it would go blend in really nicely. And then I do have this, um, also ColourPop Luxe Gloss that goes over, uh, pretty nicely, um, and has that 
tint to it along with the sparkle. So, what do you guys think? I'm leaning towards a different colored lip instead of just doing like a monochrome look. So, I'm going to go in with my Kylie one that is the birthday suit. And then before, when I was prepping my, uh, my face, I did go in with a light um, layer of my uh, lip sleeping mask. And um, it's like a really nice moisturizer so that when you do finally go in with uh, whatever lipstick, if you have uneven lip and it's like cracked or whatever, like mine have been, my poor lips. Um, it's really nice and it helps even everything out, especially for when you go in with something that tends to have a dry formula. As much as I love Kylie products, these things are dry as hell. like it's a different color than it is in the bottle. So this one's almost like a nude for me, um, almost. It's like an off-colored nude, but I am gonna be going back over it with this one. And I think that that color is gonna balance out really nicely. What I wanna do in the meantime is go ahead and do like a setting spray for what I do have on my face. Um, and then I'll put on the gloss. So I love to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I hate pump sprays. They just tend to like shoot you right in the face, but these ones are pretty nice. And my mom was nice enough to send me over this fan, this beautiful, beautiful fan, if I can remember how to open it right way. There we go. For when I use my setting spray. Let's get some of this Lux Lippy on and see how I like everything. Especially because my game had already started and I'm a little late to it. Okay, I hate the lip. Yeah, I, I really hate this lip with this look. Let's try this again, just a second. I'm just gonna. Okay, so I am going to instead go with the monochrome look because that one was way too orangey for my tastes. 
Okay, so let's go ahead. And go with my just a tint. Now it is a little bit brighter than on. It's a little bit brighter than the rest of like the makeup look. So what I tend to do is kind of just like dab it down um once i let it like set because it's it's a tint so um i feel like it just let it set and then it kind of fixes itself That goes super cute. Just a little bit of a dab. Ta-da! I'm much happier with this than the Kylie. I'm sorry, Kylie. You are not meant to go with the cherry palette at all. So, thank you guys for watching me play around with some makeup. I'm going to end my stream. I have a game to get to uh, for a friends against humanity type of bit. So I will uh, be online again soon. I'm going to be trying to put together some videos um, because I've recorded a bunch of videos. I just necessarily haven't had the time to actually like edit them. So once I get all of those put together, I'll be posting them online and I hope that you guys enjoyed spending some time with me while I played around with this palette. Thank you guys so much for joining and have a wonderful night. Stay safe. Bye.